This is an instructional video on how to solve problems involving Pythagorean triples. A Pythagorean triple still involves our Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. But in these problems, all three numbers will be given. You have to answer the question, is it a right triangle? That's what we're trying to solve in every problem. The answer is yes if your answers match. Your answer is no if the answers do not match. When you have a problem, it's important that you always go from least to greatest. So using our Pythagorean theorem, we put our numbers in order from least to greatest. So 12 is the least, then 24, then 36. And then you can solve. 12 squared is going to give you 144. 24 squared is going to give you 576. 36 squared is 1296. We combine our like terms, 144 plus 576, and we get 720. 720 does not equal 1296. They do not match, and so this answer is no. It is not a right triangle. 720 does not match 1296. Again, we always have to go in order from least to greatest. You should look and see that this problem is not in order from least to greatest. We have to go in a different order. Still using our Pythagorean theorem, the smallest number, 9, goes first. The middle number is B. The largest number, C, is at the end. 9 squared is 81. 11 squared is 121. 16 squared is 256. Combining our like terms, 81 plus 121 is going to give us 202. 202 does not equal 256. And so our answer is no, it is not a right triangle. For this problem, using our Pythagorean theorem, going in order from least to greatest, 20 goes first, 21 is in the middle, the largest number 29 is at the end. 20 squared is gonna give us 400. 21 squared is going to give us 441. 29 squared is going to give us 841. Combining like terms, 400 plus 441 is going to give us 841. The numbers do match. 841 equals 841. So our answer is yes. It is a right triangle. For this problem, using our Pythagorean theorem, we're going to put our numbers in order from least to greatest, smallest to largest. Smallest number is 7.5, 10 is in the middle, the largest number 12.5 at the end. 12.5 squared is 56.25, 10 squared is 100, 12.5 squared is 156.25. Combining like terms, 56.25 plus 100 is going to give us 156.25. 156.25 matches our answer, 156.25. And so our answer is yes, it is a right triangle. Just like with every problem, we start with our Pythagorean theorem and we plug in our values from least to greatest. 
28 being the smallest number goes first, 45 is in the middle, the largest number, 53, is at the end. 28 squared gives us 784. 45 squared gives us 2025. 53 squared gives us 2809. Combining like terms, 784 plus 2025 gives us 2809. 2809 matches our answer, 2809. And so our answer is yes, it is a right triangle. We start every problem with the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We can go ahead and plug in our values in order from least to greatest. One is the smallest, it goes first. Two is in the middle. Five, the largest number, is last. One squared is one. Two squared is four. Five squared is 25. Combining like terms, 1 plus 4 is going to give us 5. 5 does not match 25. So our answer is no, it is not a right triangle. For this problem, we're going to plug in our values into the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We start with the smallest number, 4.5. 6 is in the middle. Our largest number, 7.5, is at the end. 4.5 squared is going to give us 20, 25. 6 squared is 36. 7.5 squared is 56, 25. Combining our like terms, 20, 25 plus 36 is going to give us 56.25. Our answers match. And so our final answer is going to be yes, it is a right triangle. We start by plugging our values into the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Starting with the smallest number 20, the middle number 30, and then the largest number 40 at the end. 20 squared is going to give us 400. 30 squared is going to give us 900. 40 squared is going to give us 1,600. Combining like terms, 400 plus 900 is 1,300. 1,300 does not equal, they do not match the answer 1,600. So our answer is no, it is not a right triangle. Again, we always start by putting our numbers into the Pythagorean order theorem in order from least to greatest. The smallest number 12 goes first, 16 is in the middle, 25 the largest numbers at the end. 12 squared is 144, 16 squared is 256, 25 squared is 625. Combining our like terms, 144, plus 256 is going to give us 400. 400 does not match our answer, 625. And so our answer is no, it is not a right triangle. 